mighty Fraser River begins its journey at Mount Robson with the first trickle of snowmelt. The river gains power and size as it flows nearly 1,400 kilometers from the Rockies to Richmond and into the Salish Sea. This is BC's longest river. The land it drains, the Fraser Basin, is roughly a quarter of the province and home to two out of three people in British Columbia today. On this bright day in September, the nonprofit Fraser Basin Council is hosting free tours along the river's busy urban industrial waterfront near the royal city of New Westminster. It's all aboard the MV Native Paddle Wheeler. The Fraser Basin Council helps communities throughout British Columbia collaborate in support of healthy ecosystems, vibrant economies, and social well-being for all. We're here to celebrate a magnificent river system, the Fraser River Basin. And we're also here today to welcome as our guests on a tour of the Fraser, those wonderful volunteers who are doing such great work in our communities. Volunteers playing a variety of different roles from cleaning up shorelines to supporting seniors and to welcome new Canadians to their new home. The Fraser was recognized in 1998 as a Canadian heritage river because its unique natural, cultural and recreational heritage values. Molly Demma of the St. John River Society in New Brunswick headed west to join FBC for a tour. This is one of 38 events happening across the country on Canadian Heritage Rivers during Canada's 150th. It's been wonderful to watch people connect with their rivers and come away with a renewed appreciation of their importance and value. The Fraser has sculpted a dramatic and varied landscape. The river supports an abundance of life, including six species of BC's iconic Pacific salmon. The salmon, in turn, support over 160 other species. The river is also rich in human history and culture. For at least 10,000 years, Coast Salish people have lived in the Lower Fraser region, relying on salmon and other bounty of the area. In the Halkamalem language, this river is known as Stalo, the river's English name, Fraser, honors Simon Fraser, who was the first non-Aboriginal person to travel the river in 1808 on a turbulent 36-day, 800-kilometer canoe trip from Fort George, now Prince George, down to near the river's mouth. Over the past 200 years of settlement, people have come here from all over the world. The Lower Fraser is a central economic hub and gateway to the Pacific. Fraser River port facilities move 30 million tons of goods, accounting for 3 to 4 billion in GDP. There are challenges on this river that come with growth, such as how to protect water quality and salmon habitat, and to safeguard communities from the risks of Fraser River flood. What does the river mean to people? You get a completely different view of, of uh, exactly what it represents, and it's such a lifeline. The Fraser. A Canadian Heritage River, ours to celebrate, protect, and explore.